Now, today marks the 30th anniversary of the Chernobyl disaster in then Soviet Ukraine, and multiple church services are being held across the country. People lit candles and lanterns to remember the victims. The Chernobyl disaster was the most serious nuclear accident in human history. The initial explosion in April 1986 was caused by a botched safety test in the fourth reactor. 31 people were killed immediately and tens of thousands were forced to flee due to the nuclear fallout. It also exposed millions to dangerous levels of radiation to the air. To this day, though, the death toll of those killed by radiation-related illnesses such as cancer is still subject to debate. And we are getting you live pictures now out of Chernobyl, where the 30-year anniversary of the nuclear disaster is being observed. Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko is currently delivering an address, and that comes after a special ceremony at the plant. Let's take a look. Ukrainian president there. Now, the Chernobyl disaster was the worst nuclear power plant accident in history in terms of cost and casualties. It's one of only two classified as a level 7 event, which is the maximum classification. The other is the Fukushima plant disaster in Japan. The disaster began during a systems test on the 26th of April 1986. There was a sudden power surge at reactor 4 of the plant, which is near the city of Pripyat and eventually a rupture. The resulting fire sent a plume of radioactive fallout into the atmosphere. And since then, 350,000 people were evacuated and resettled away from contaminated areas. Children are still being born with severe birth defects and rare types of cancer in the area. The city of Pripyat was abandoned and is going to ruin. Plant and animal life are also deeply affected. Now, 30 years ago, areas within 30 kilometers of Chernobyl were sealed off. But since 2011, the Ukrainian government has opened up a tour route for visitors through strictly controlled. CCTV takes you inside. Entering a once forbidden area. Visitors are warned not to deviate it from the guided route, nor touch anything. They must tread carefully so as not to unsettle the dusty earth containing high radiation. A prolonged exposure to around 500 row engine is potentially lethal to humans. Here, it's 1,000 in some areas. I moved the counter to the right. The radiation index here was 960 range. Mm -hmm. And here, the index reached 1,000. Here is 2,000. Three kilometers away from the nuclear site, the once lively Pripyat city used to house many of the plant's workers and their families. With the hasty evacuation following the catastrophe, the city has remained deserted ever since. On the way to the heart of the nuclear disaster, the fourth reactor, radiation levels spiked from 700 to 1100 row engine, even interfering with filming. Maintenance work is being done under the watch of more than 1,000 scientists and technicians, but they are strictly banned from shifts of more than five minutes on site. Chernobyl's fourth reactor, which exploded 30 years ago, was encased in a thick concrete tomb following disaster. But now cracks are appearing on structure. The Ukrainian government has pledged to build a new, stronger shield to keep the nuclear fuel contained. <laughs> 